Yeah. So again, so far so good. Nothing too um, too tough to get us going. Uh, we're looking for the inverse function now. Inverse function. So whenever I'm doing the inverse function, I will say to myself, I'm basically rearranging, rearranging to make x a subject here. But just a very quick chat about what inverse functions mean is the function itself is reflecting along the 45 degree line. And the most common we get is that the exponentials are the inverse of the, the logarithmic ones. And if I've got a you know coordinate here, say that's 1, 4, the coordinate over here would be 4, 1. So the x's and the y's um, shift around. Also, the, the domain for this, um, so if I put an x value in, I would get a range out. So you, the domain is the, the input. So your domain would be the, the input x values. Uh, so for this, I could have any value of x I like. Uh, that would come out as a range, uh, so the, the output is, is the range. That would switch around for um, an inverse. So suddenly, when I do the inverse, the range would be the same as this old domain, and the domain would be the same as the old range. Okay, so it's just worth thinking about that as well. Okay, I'll just work that out for neatness. All right. Um, I'll, still, I'll still write that the domain is the input. All right, domain is what was in, and the range is what comes out. Okay, So everything's all flipped around. So what I do is I start off by saying y is equal to x plus 3 over 2. I'm just going to rearrange that. So I'm going to have 2y is x plus 3. So then 2y take away 3 is equal to x. And that means then that the inverse function, the f uh, negative 1 x, is equal to 2x take away 3. So all I've done there is I'm, I've called this my inverse function. And I've changed the y here to an x. All right. So it's just doing the, the exact opposite. Yeah. So say for example, if I put one into here, so one plus three is four. Four divided by two is two. So up there, if I put in one, I'm getting out. That's funny. That's actually similar to what I did there. Weird. Um. Well, similar, but not quite. Uh, I would get two out. Okay. So what what's saying then is for this function, if I put the range in, so if I put a two in here, I should get one out. So 2 times 2, take away 3 is 1, yeah. So you're just going the other way, effectively. But that's your first one. And watch out, they love to ask the question, you know, for here, for example, what would happen if instead of putting x into my function, so instead of putting a number in, what if I put an f of x? You know, what if I put my original function into my inverse? Well, you just end up right back where you started. You know, it's like you're going from 1 to 2, then 2, back to 1 again. So if you put your inverse, or likewise, if you were to do f of f negative one x, you just end up right back where you started at x. Okay, so watch out for that. It's a nice little question. You like two, uh, but yeah, three marks. Um, it's an excellent three marks. Uh, it's just more about knowing the notation. Um, but that's why you're getting your marks. It's new notation. It's just, it's a new kind of language. But in reality, all you're doing is rearranging to make x the subject and then calling it um, f to the negative one. Brilliant.